اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آیبدو احدکم ان تکون لہو جنتم من نخیل و آناب من نخیل و آناب تجری من تحتیہ الانہار اخلہو فیہا من کل السمرات و اصابہ الکبر و لہو ذریت دوفا و اصابہ ایسار فیہ نار فہترکت قَذَالِكَ يُبَيِّنُ اللَّهُ لَكُمُ الْآيَاتِ لَأَلَّكُمْ تَتَفَكَّرُونَ Dear friends, السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ I recited سورة البقرة آیت نمبر 266 In this آیت Allah tells us about a person who earns his good deeds throughout his life. But behind that is the intention of show off or pretending. So because of that, all the good deeds becomes zero. No reward of those deeds at the day of judgment. So this way, this person after having so many good deeds, so he gets reward zero at the day of judgment. So we read this one, then we understand, inshallah. Allah said, Aya vaddu ahadukum. Aya vaddu would like any of you, would any of you like ahadukum? any one of you would any one of you like antakuna that he should have lahu jannatun a garden min nakhilin of date palm wa anabin and grapes So, آیَبَدُّ أَحَدُكُمْ أَن تَكُونَ لَهُ جَنَّتُمْ مِن نَخِيلٌ وَآنَابٍ Would anyone of you like to have a garden of date palm and grapes تجری underneath it مِن تَحَتِ هَلْ أَنْحَارٍ تجری من تحتی حل انہار سو انڈرنیت دس گارڈن دا سٹریمز آر فلوئنگ لہو فیہا من کل سامرات لہو فار ہم من کل سامرات فار ہم دیر آر آل ٹائپس آف فروٹس و اصابہ الکبرو اینڈ ہی بیکمز اولڈ و لہو ذریت دوافا اینڈ ہی ہیز چلڈرن ہو آر ویری سمال دی کانٹ ڈو اینی تنگ فَأَصَابَهَا حِسَارٌ فِيهِ نَارٌ فَحْتَرَقَتْ فَأَصَابَهَا then falls on it حِسَارٌ a fire blow فِيهِ نَارٌ یعنی in it if the fire blows upon it فَحْتَرَقَتْ and and it becomes fully destroyed by burning. This, this garden is fully destroyed by burning because of the blowing of fire wind. Fire wind. 
so this hole becomes destroyed completely because of burning kazalika this way yubayyanullah allah makes clear lakumul ayat his signs la allakum upon you tatafakkarun so that you may think so allah said in this ayat aya waddu ahadukum an takuna lahu jannatum min nakhilin wa anabin tajri min tahtiha al anhar lahu fiha min kulli samarat wa asabahu al kibru wa lahu zurriyatun dafa'u fa asabaha isarun fihi narun fahtarakat kazalika yubayyinu llahu lakum al ayati la allakum tatafakkarun would anyone of you like to have a garden of palm trees and grape vines underneath which streams are flowing where he has all types of fruits he becomes old and weak and he has small children so this garden becomes fully destroyed by burning through the fire blows so allah makes clear to you his signs so that you may think so this ayat is telling us that you can consider and think in your mind about a person who has a big golden this is golden of uh, date date palm trees and grape uh, trees and uh, and other other nearly all types of fruits which are already produced in this garden so you think the garden which is uh, the garden of dates and grapes and other all types of fruits so and under the garden there are the streams of water flowing and uh, if the this garden is owned to a person think now if a person who is the owner of this one he becomes old and because when a person becomes old automatically that person is weak so then at that stage this person is unable to do any type of job because he is so much weak he can't do any other job so all the income the income source of this person is only this garden so the garden of date trees and and the grapes and also other fruits which are in the garden so this garden is the only source of income to that person and now this person becomes old and weak and he has uh, the children who are very small very small children small children how is possible small children can't do any type of earning because they are very small they are not they are not helpful to this man just to earn money for him so because they are small children so it mean this person has the only source of income only this garden and allah said if this is the situation and at that situation if the fire blows upon the garden and garden is fully destroyed by burning what will happen to the person then because he has he he is old one he can't do anything he is not able to earn 
and he has not son his children are very small no one is to earn for him and all of his good deeds have finished and all of his uh, you know all of the garden is burned completely finish the same like that a person who is doing good deeds and the deeds of that person when they are uh, like collecting and the collection of all good deeds is so much like the garden of all fruits and so much uh, uh, the collection of good deeds but uh, because of those deeds he made uh, just with the intention of show off or pretending and uh, also with the hypocritic act so he has done that one so automatically what will happen to that person so that person will get uh, no reward at all because like the garden when the fire blows upon it so it is totally destroyed by burning and nothing left in the garden which will be helpful for him so uh, just to earn the risk or earn something so because the garden is fully destroyed same like that the reward of all deeds which are done just uh, with the intention of show off or pretending will have no reward at all so for for him there is no reward at all at the day of judgment this person will get no reward at all there so this way allah said kazalika yubayyinu llahu this way allah tells you the uh, clear signs of uh, expression uh, of his uh, signs so that you can think about that and you have to reform your behavior and make your mind in order to get rewards and leave these type of intentions of a show off or pretending or hypocritic act or when you give sadaka or charity to the people and don't tease them don't understand them they are the inferior but don't make in mind that you are uh, giving them if you are not to give them this uh, sadaka or uh, charity they were uh, not to survive and this is the great blessings of you or the great favor of you that uh, you have done it uh, upon them and you're reminding that one to them that you have done it so this type of reminding and the charity to them and uh, and also teasing them with having an intention the uh, that they are the inferior people they 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 have uh, no good status in their life so you show off like uh, that you are the top person in the society and uh, you are the main one who can help and without your help these people were nothing and they were all in loss and in this way and also when you spend money or spend uh, anything and also you can like uh, do good good deeds but behind there is intention of show off so all all the good deeds will will go into vain will go into null and void and you get nothing reward of that some people you can see they can uh, they can build the mosque they can build uh, the islamic schools and they can build the hospitals and uh, orphan centers uh, and other the something good like that but uh, behind that the intention is the popularity that the people understand that i am doing the good thing and uh, main intention is to show off uh, to pretend that uh, this was the job which i have done so no one was to do i have done that one so i should be popular among the people so they should understand that i have done a very big job to help the people to serve the community to serve the 
uh, humanity. So I have done so much good projects and I have done a good job. So behind that, if the intention is just to show off or just to be popular among the people, and this intention makes all the good deeds, uh, like even building mosques or Islamic schools or hospitals or orphan center and anything else. So every reward becomes zero. At the day of judgment, this person will get nothing. Same like that, which example Allah told here, that if a person who has a garden, garden of date and uh, grape trees and uh, under there is uh, all the streams of water flowing and uh, this garden has uh, all other fruits also there inside it and uh, when the person becomes old and uh, weak and he has no he has no big children and the children are very really small they are unable to earn for him so now the source of income is only this uh, garden and if this garden is uh, when the fire blows upon it uh, like uh, the windy that wind with the fire blows when falls upon it and uh, this whole a garden it becomes fully destroyed by burning so what will happen to the person that time so same is that when a person is doing good deeds and behind that is the intention of show off or pretending so it will destroy all of his good deed and he will get no any reward at the day of judgment at that time the person will be unable to come back in this world to do good deeds because the time finished that the world he, he is unable to come back to this world and he is not to earn more good deeds so that day he will only see that he got nothing reward and all of good deeds have gone waste no no reward at all so think about that person how he will be at that situation and same thing like the umar radiyallahu no he also said to the sahaba ridwanullah alaihim ajma'in to express the views of them about this ayat and abdullah bin abbas radiyallahu ta'ala no he said that it is this ayat explains about a person who is to do all types of good deeds throughout his life but but at the end he becomes he becomes entangled under the uh, under the satanic intervention and uh, then he become disobedient to allah and he can do that time according to his own wish or desire so uh, the deeds so this way all the good deeds what the person has done that becomes null and void and he gets nothing reward at all so this way like the uh, the garden because garden the person is the owner and he is the whole income source is this one but when um, like a person is doing the good deeds behind that intention is to show off and pretending and hypocritic act automatically all the reward becomes zero like some people you can see they can uh, they can uh, pray like salah salah is just to show off they can uh, perform hajj just to show off they are just to participate in jihad activities just to show off the people that similarly this like these type of things are good deeds which are uh, done by a person to show off before the people so that the person should be expressed in good good ways by the people so because he, he or she wants to be popular among the people so all the good deeds becomes zero similarly if a person is just to give the charity or uh, the 
sadaka to the people and also reminding the favor that i have done this just for you if i was not to do you were going into loss so and your life was not good but i have done so much blessings upon you after giving this sadaka or charity so to survive you so is reminding this type of things and this makes all sadaka null and void similarly uh, like some people other understand the other one that they are inferior so that we help them so their position is nothing so these type of uh, uh, things tease the person after after helping them so this makes the reward of sadaka or charity zero similarly like uh, the hypocritical behavior like a person who makes relationship with someone but uh, uh, inside his mind and uh, there is something other like cheating or some other things but uh, outside the person is show off that he is sincere person to that one but inside is not uh, sincere so this hypocritical behavior will will give him zero reward of that so all the reward of that person will go into zero because this hypocritical hypocritical action will make his all reward equal to zero at the day of judgment these people even they have done the good deeds but they will get zero reward so this way allah said in this ayat that you must be sincere in you are spending in doing good deeds you must understand that you are doing good deeds just for allah and not to uh, have the intention of show off or pretending or with or having some other idea in mind and you must have whatever you have in mind in your heart or and your action must be same so you must be sincere from every way so when you are performing any action in your life about islam like if you are performing salah it must be uh, for allah and if you are going to hajj that must be for allah if you doing if you are giving charity to the people that must be just for allah don't tease anyone don't uh, uh, remind the people that you are doing uh, uh help to them but don't express anything to them just understand if they are accepting your charity you understand that is a blessing upon you and uh, this way if you become a good person in your life with sincerity and uh, the nice behavior during performing your good deeds so then the reward will be with you so this way allah explains here for us that if we want to earn good rewards in this world we must be free from hypocrisy we must be free from reminding the people of generosity uh, and we are not to tease the people that just to understand them they are inferior uh, we are not to uh, not to show not to be show off or not to pretend in our deeds so we must do everything just with sincerity for allah only so allah gave us tawfiq uh, to do all types of good deeds just for allah with full sincerity and so that allah and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam may become happy with us and at the day of judgment we can get the good reward of all that ameen